1998 MGF. As you can see, it's finished in a dark blue with contrasting cream interior and a black hood. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. We'll start on this driver's side. We'll start on this front wing. Looking down the side of the car, you can see it is nice and straight, but the whole car could do with a good polish, good clean, proper clean throughout. This front bumper, that sits nice and straight. There's a tiny little mark on the, uh, on the edge there. This wing has been painted at some point, but it hasn't had the best job because you've got a little bit of bubbling around the, uh, around the badges. Um, and there's a bit of a run here that could do with being polished out. But the arch itself is pretty clean. Like I say, it wants a good wash. Plenty of dirt there. And you've got a little bit of, of a reaction bubbling through on the bottom of the wing there. The sill on this side is pretty clean until you get to the back where you've got a little bit of corrosion coming through there on the uh, on the lip. So that one's sorted out before it gets to be any more of an issue. The driver's door itself is really pretty clean. Like I said, the whole car wants a good clean the polish. You've got a mark on the, uh, on the on the edge of the door there. Wing mirror and everything's nice and tidy. Around that vent's all good. On this rear quarter, you've got a mark here where a bit of bird poo's been left on too long. And the arch itself seems to be okay, but again, like I say, it wants to go clean in there. It's got the mini light style wheels, four decent tyres on it. On this rear deck lid, again, it's got the odd scratch and the sort of bird poo marks here and there. Don't want to keep harking on about it, but really a polish would make a big difference about on all of those sort of things. Rear tail lights are all nice and clean. Barge hasn't peeled, which is quite quite unusual. You've got a little bit of corrosion on the leading edge there. It's all good on the other side. It's hard an exhaust system by the looks of things because the exhaust stick out a little bit, but they are actually quite good looking. Again, that's subjective, that's your opinion. The rear corners, are both nice and clean, there's no scuffs or anything on there. There is a small mark on the lower part of the bumper there. But other than that, nothing much to complain about on the rear. On this passenger side, rear quarter, you've got a, a little bubble on the bottom of the, uh, the arch where it meets the bumper there. But the rest of the arch is fine. Again, mini lights, two good tyres on this side. It is nice and straight down this side as well. Fuel filler cap's got a bit of sort of a peel on the bottom there, you can see. Slightly. Uh, the hood, rear window is nice and solid, doesn't let any moisture or anything or anything like that, but it is a little bit sun faded, which is very common on these. Um, you can't get a new window for it all. To be fair, if it was me, I would just live with it, because how often are you actually going to drive with the roof up? It's had a couple of repairs on this side, and the same on the other side. It's on the common spot where they go, where it wears, where it folds down, as you can see. But we have washed this car quickly. Um, earlier in the week and there was no sort of water found inside or anything like that. It's outside for a couple of days. There was no sort of puddles on the seats or anything like that. So obviously the repairs, while they're not, they might not be the prettiest, they're doing the job. So that's at least something there. Passenger side sill. Not as bad as the other side. All nice and clean along there. Actual sort of body works final on the bottom as well. A couple of marks on the door. But nothing again, nothing major. Nice and straight, like I said. This front wing, a couple of little bubbles where the uh, mud guards sort of trapped some moisture against it, but the arch itself is all nice and clean. Bonnet, same as everywhere else, a couple of little bird poo marks here and there. We'll, we'll go about it again and, and, and suggest a polish. That front bumper is all nice and tidy. No real marks or damage on there. Again, another, another barge. It must have had a barge, a, barge, a, a barge set at some point because they're always peeling and they're good on this. Both headlights are nice and clean. They don't need polish or anything like that. Bit of a squeak on the door when you open it. The um, door checks and everything are all nice and clean. It's got the cream leather. You could do with a really good scrub. It, it's had a repair here at some point, as you can see. Um, and a really good scrub would make a massive difference because it's just that sort of standard cream leather with some ingrained dirt on it. But the leather's still lovely and soft. It would come right. You've got the half of the steering wheel there again. Could do with a good clean. But other than that, all good. It's got the matching um, gear gator and, and, and handbrake gator, which is nice. They're not sort of knackered or anything like that. Still got the original MG stereo. You never see them with that anymore, which is a nice, nice little find. 
all your cubby compartments and everything are all still intact which again is quite rare the keys and have a look in the boot while we're on our way on so the boot for some reason the carpet is missing or the carpet lining that goes round down the back along the bottom and along it's all missing but you can get a good look in here and see that it's all nice and tidy you just need to get on ebay Get a breaker and get a, get a carpet there because that make a massive difference. These covers are all still intact. You can sort of see through into the engine bay there, but if you, if you know these cars, you'll, you'll know you'll not really see much from through there. And then under here, again, same story as the rest of the car. Could do with a good clean, but nothing particularly worrying. There's no signs of any rot or anything like that. Decent battery on this car as well, it doesn't, doesn't usually need boosted or anything like that. Got your tool kit and your spare wheel in there. Again, all the plastics are present, all the covers are there, they've all not gone missing or anything like that. Get started up. So there you have it. Nice and smooth, nice and quiet. Doesn't throw out any smoke or anything like that. It was left running for about 35, 40 minutes the other day when we were cleaning it. Um, and no sign of any temperature issues or anything like that, which obviously is a common question on these MGFs. Happy to send any more pictures or videos or anything else that you might need or answer any questions. We will put in the description what we've got in the way of service history and things like that. Any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.